Hey everybody, Sage from Tiny Home Tours. Just want to take a few seconds before this tour video to remind you that the team at Tiny Home Tours has created a course on tiny living. The course is currently in its pre-launch phase and this weekend is the last weekend to get 50% off. At midnight on Sunday, the early bird pre-launch ends and the discount drops to 30%. We will never offer 50% off the course again, so make sure to sign up before the end of the weekend to get the best deal. We're really excited for those of you guys who have already purchased the Tiny Living course, and we're looking forward to seeing you guys as you begin your own personal Tiny Living journey. Thank you so much. Now enjoy this tour. Hey everybody, my name is Dustin. And I'm Tanya. And we've been traveling since around 2017 in a few different ways, but now we are in the fitness bus. Come on in. All right guys, so here we are in the kitchen of our bus, our home. And um, with the kitchen, we wanted a space where we could have a lot of area for preparation because we like to cook, we're all about healthy living. And so with this space, we wanted a huge sink um, because obviously with a lot of cooking comes a lot of dishes. And so we wanted a big space for that. Um, and then we went with a butcher block countertop because of the way um, the design is and then just with cook prep and everything else it works perfectly for that um, And then over here We created a dual space because again, we wanted extra countertop space. So this actually comes off and It will then show our oven stove on top of it so when we're cooking we take it off um, and we can store it underneath one of our seats over here um, and then when we are not cooking we will just place it back over here and then that way we have multifunctional space um, so we went with a dometic oven um, one of the things that i wanted when we decided to design our home here is to have a oven because we have been traveling like we mentioned before um, for over about three years and for a long time I never had an oven to cook and I like to cook and bake and all of those things so having a Dometic it's a gas stove oven combo um, and it works perfectly we utilize it all the time um, and then we actually have a max air fan that helps pull out the heat so um, we don't keep it too hot in here when we are cooking and then um, we also have created a pantry space so with cooking and everything else like that, we wanted a big drawer so we could store a lot of canned goods or dry goods. And that way we're completely stocked full. Um, and again, you have to have extra locks on there to keep it in place. Uh, and with our sink, we also added a faucet here that has the hose that can come out and attach because one of the features that we liked, especially when we're camping in spaces where you're not really city camping, we try to avoid city camping, but this window will actually come down and then we can swivel this outside so you can do a shower outside if you need to. And then with that, underneath here is where we store our uh, gray water tank. And so we also just have a little bit of extra storage. We have a seven gallon gray water tank that um, we just use because it's easier for us to just dump it frequently instead of just having it drain completely through or putting the extra weight on one side of the bus. We also have a 33 gallon fresh water tank that we have housed underneath our headboard here. Um, so that way we can fill up. We have plenty of water. It will last us for probably about depending on where we are, two to three weeks, the both of us just um, drinking off of the water there. Another functionality we had, again, with the extra countertop space that we like to have for cooking, is we created this, so we have that extra space, but it also will lift up and it locks in place, so then we can access our refrigerator, which this is a winter's fridge freezer combo and it, it's actually a dual zone so you can have fridge fridge freezer freezer fridge freezer however you choose um, and we utilize both it just kind of depends on what we are using for groceries for the week or whatnot uh, up here is where we house a lot of our kitchenware so again living in a tiny space you want to have a every square inch counts you want to have extra storage all over the place so um, up here is where we have like our plates a couple of pans pots and pans um, we even have a blender that we can run if we want to we try not to use it too much um, and then up here is kind of where we just hold a little extra like storage containers coffee because that's like priority number one um, and then a couple of other like shaker bottles and things like that 
And here is where we house all of our utensils. Um, it's a very small drawer, but you don't really need too much. So um, lots of stuff squished into a tiny little space. These upper cabinets here are just some extra space. So kind of in this one here, we have, <clears throat> excuse me, like electronics, um, kind of like your junk drawer, if I guess you will, um, where just all the extra stuff that you really don't know where to put it goes. And then this space back here is just kind of like over catch area for extra hoodies and things like that that we just kind of don't utilize all the time but want to have around just for in case it gets chilly and you need something to grab and then here is our bed um, this is actually a queen size bed it is a Tempur-Pedic bed so um, we actually um, made that fit because again sleep is very important to us and having a good mattress makes sleep awesome so a queen size Tempur-Pedic mattress um, and then on our headboard back here, we have a bunch of different um, storage space. So that's kind of where we keep like electronics and just a little bit of knickknack things back here. Um, and we also have some USB ports so we can charge our phones or any other things that we need to. And then back here is probably my favorite place of the bus. <laughs> This is a customized bookshelf that Dustin made. Um, it's actually made out of an old doghouse, believe it or not. And so with that, we have a bunch of books. We're into reading a lot of entrepreneurial, self-help type of books. And so um, we kind of just place those up there and then with a lighthouse to just kind of keep shining your light. And that's kind of something that's very important to us. Um, so this is probably my favorite space in the entire bus. We decided to start traveling in 2017 because we realized there was so much to see and do. We realized we had grew up in Nebraska. We hadn't really <laughs> seen a lot. We hadn't really done a lot. And so we, we ultimately sold everything we owned and hit the road to figure out if we liked it or not. Yeah, for sure. And we just kind of wanted to gain some new experiences in life and, um, you know, get away from just being stagnant in one area for too long. So we, as we said before, we're on tour doing this. What we actually do is run, run an online nutrition and fitness company called Vikings and Vixens. And so we're completely online. We always need data <laughs> and to be online, we need Wi-Fi. Um, but we do meal planning, nutrition, we do all the workouts, we do all, all, several different ways of, of, of nutrition and fitness and, and coaching basically um, to make our living. Down here is our closet. Uh, so Des and I each have two bins that hold all of our clothes with the exception of the overcatch for our hooded sweatshirts. But our rule is if it fits, it ships. If it doesn't fit, then it doesn't get to go. Um, and once you get one item of clothing, you have to remove another. So that's kind of just our rule. But we have these cute little bins that we just kind of pull out and tuck them in and that's where we kind of store everything that we have and the simplicity is really awesome because it eliminates the choices that you have to make which is super helpful for me. Uh, we also did install an S-Bar heater. Um, we wanted to have the capability to travel anywhere at any time and most of the heaters that you get they only arrange for you to get about 8,000 feet and then they kick off. Um, with this one, I believe we're able to get to about 14,000 feet with it to still work. Um, so we have our control setting here and then underneath here is where we have the vent and it really, it produces a lot of heat and it gets warm quick. So it was one of a, another good investment that we put into the bus. So with traveling all over, especially in the southern parts of the states for this tour that we are doing, um, we needed a way to stay cool because it gets really hot <laughs> really quick and sometimes the max air fan doesn't cut it. And so we had invested in a small window AC and we have a generator that it can run off of or if we end up parking somewhere where they have power outlets, we can also park in there. And it turns on um, real quick and easy, it keeps it nice and cool in here very quick, especially since it's a really small space. And um, it really just helps out when it's super hot and you don't have anywhere to go. Another awesome feature that I highly recommend is a Milwaukee fan because this thing is a lifesaver. Um, this, we, it runs off a battery or you can plug it in and these batteries will last 
to allow the fan to blow all night long without dying. And um, it's just a really good addition for moving some air around in the small space. So you have good airflow, keeps you a little bit cool. And we also use it as a kind of like a white noise um, at night. So we kind of get a little bit of cool breeze, but it also drowns out the noise of other traffic and things like that. And then this is the living room area. Uh, we decided to go with a couch sitting because we're not really much to like sit at a table and eat or anything like that. We're always kind of quickly moving and on the go. Um, but with this, we put some extra storage. So we have storage that is underneath this bench here. And then we also have extra storage that's underneath this bench here. And then up above is the extra cabinet space. And this is kind of where we hold like our personal hygiene stuff. Um, so we just kind of, this is my side, this is Dustin's side, and that's that. So earlier I mentioned how on our stove we have a tabletop that kind of goes on top for extra uh, countertop space. But the cool thing about this is we can also utilize it as a table. So there's back ends under here that we have legs that we put on there, and then we usually just set it up so it would sit here in front of the couch and then that way we each have a space to work on if we want to um, and it really works out perfectly and then this space here is our bathroom um, we just added a shower curtain we didn't really want to put a door on there just because the it kind of eliminates the open area here if you have to walk through so in here we went with corrugated tin um, i just like the look of it with the wood and then we have a nature's head toilet, which is the best investment ever. So if you're looking for whether or not to put a bathroom in your tiny home, nature's head is way to go. Um, and then we also have, if you can see here, we have a rack up here where we kind of hold our towels. Um, that way they have a place to be. And then this is my painting that I did. Um, that it was something that I wanted to have with us and so Dustin found a place for it for me um, because obviously we don't have a whole lot of wall space and it just represents a lot of beauty um, as you can see I'm wearing some peacock earrings um, so it has a lot of meaning to me um, with my story as I have been on my own self discovery of um, learning more about myself and self growth uh, for the ceiling, we went with a distressed look with the wood. Um, everything that we built into this bus is what we built by hand. Um, Dustin did a majority of the, the custom work himself. And we wanted to have the capability of having a dim light. So we came with these that you can, they come on a dimmer switch. So over here, you can just kind of set the mood however you want to. It can go as bright as you want or as low as you want. And that's a really nice capability that we have. So this is our famous sticker wall. This is something that Dustin and I, when we first started traveling back in 2018, we started to collect stickers of every place that we've been to, national parks and um, people we've met on the road. So every single sticker that we have, um, other than a few that didn't make the journey, <laughs> happened to go up on this wall. And um, it's just kind of like our little memorabilia area. And then um, we also created this space for Journey, our dog, and um, we rescued her back in April of 2020. And so we created this little space for her. So she has all of her toys, her dog food, um, and it's just kind of give her a little bit of space so she has of her own. And then up here, we also have this beautiful dream catcher, which a good friend of ours gave us. So it has a lot of meaning to us as well. And then, of course, our little hula girl, because, you know, you got to have a little bit of fun. Uh, and down here is a skateboard that a friend of ours made for us. So this was given to us on our 12 year anniversary uh, last year. And so it has basically a collage of all the pictures of Dustin and I together for the 12 years that we've been together. So it's got a lot of um, special meaning to us and we definitely had to place it here in the bus. And then down here is where we hold all of our shoes. Um, so we have another beautiful piece of wood that a friend built for us. Um, it has Vikings and Vixens, which is the name of our company, our brand Vikings and Vixens, where we are certified nutrition coaches online. And so we use that space to make a door to hold our shoes in um, that is housed underneath this bench here. I 
would say one of the biggest pros to traveling full time and living on the road is the constant change. I, I love having the change in scenery. I love meeting new people and um, you just never know what the day is going to bring. So it's always kind of a, a new experience that um, can always be good or bad, but it's always a good or it's always a experience. Yeah, for sure. it's definitely experience. Um, and, and that's what's cool is some nights you wake up in a Walmart parking lot and the next night you might wake up next to a geyser. Like the opportunities are endless. You can go anywhere, you can do anything. And just being able to experience that is really rad. Now, is one good or bad? I'm not really sure. What we like to say is, you know, is living in an apartment better or is owning a house better? We, we've done all three now. And to be honest with you, they're just different. It's not that one's better than the other one. They're just different. I would say one of the biggest cons to living on the road is there's always, you're always on the go and everything just takes a little bit more time. So like when you have to get ready to leave somewhere, especially if you don't have a tow behind and this is your primary um, uh, mobile, then you have to make sure that like nothing is on the countertops, drawers are locked, nothing's gonna be falling when you're driving and it just takes a little bit more extra time to get yourself ready to go. So you can't just like go off on a whim, you have to kind of plan a little bit ahead and, and think about like where are we gonna stay and um, you know how long is it gonna take us to get there and, and what's you know gonna be things that are in the way that we need to take care of before we go. Yeah, for me, I would say the biggest con living this lifestyle is finding internet when you need it the most. Like, it, it can be very hard. We have like a hundred and some gigabytes of, of data now on our phones, and, and we got a couple of the jetpacks. But yeah, like finding internet, finding service at some of the places that we stay and go can be difficult. All right, so the bus is actually a Thomas bus on a E450 Ford body. Um, it's the 7.3 liter diesel and just the normal overdrive transmission. And then on the, it is a dually, so that's handy because we have had a bus with a single wheel. We are definitely able to carry more weight now. So on the back of our bus, we built a completely custom bumper. We removed the old bumper completely built this one. There's two huge toolboxes underneath that pull out and I'll show you how that works. But being able to have all that much more storage, it was so handy to do. We also built a rack or, or a ladder so we can get up on top of the solar rack. In solar, we have 600 watts of solar on top and 400 amp hours of battery inside. As far as the bus goes, this is considered modern mint spray paint. It took four full days of sanding and priming and painting and taping off and all that. We went through 29 cans of spray paint and it was over Labor Day weekend. We did it in Denver, Colorado in a motel parking lot. All right, so now we're up top. We're on our rooftop deck. We're up here. Half of our rooftop deck is solar. The other half is actual deck that you can stand on. So we have 600 uh, watts of solar up top and 400 amp hours of battery inside underneath of our refrigerator, which Tanya showed you earlier. Um, we do have a little walkway so I can still get to everything because over here I have a Yakima storage unit. And over here I have one of the racks where our spare tire is, our big tent, and we actually have a camp stove. And then I also have a Max Air fan in the middle of it. We utilized every ounce of our, of our roof so we could get more storage and bring more stuff with us. As Tanya showed you inside where our closet was, everything that wasn't closet, we actually still have storage. So we have a couple of totes under there, a cooler, and it's also where our two paddle boards store underneath, as well as the 33 gallon water tank that she told you about earlier. I would say if it's something that you're considering, just do it. Like if you wanna get into this lifestyle, um, there's always going to be the things that come up that's like, 
fear around traveling by yourself or just being on the road constantly. And sometimes you just kind of have to push that fear aside and take some risks because we only have one life to live. And if it's really something that you want to do, make it happen and give yourself the choice to, to pursue it. And then you can decide if it's for you or if it's not for you. Um, you know, one of the things that they have available now is you can rent camper vans. You can Airbnb a, a tiny home. So if it's something you're considering, take little, you know, chances like that to see like, can I do this lifestyle? Is it for me? And then you can always just go back to the way that you were before. Yeah. Tanya and I are, are different, man. We, we didn't know if we would like it or not. We just sold all of our stuff and decided <laughs> to try to find out. We're doing it. And so that's my suggestion to you is like, it's easy to say, well, I got kids or I'm going to school or I'm, I got a job or I'm doing this or I'm doing that. You can make all of them situations work. But to me, it was the act of selling everything, deciding to downsize, being intentional and, and knowing where we were headed and what direction we were going was super rad for us. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't imagine like doing it a different, like having stuff in storage and all that. We literally got down to a few totes worth of stuff and took off in a pickup truck and, and lived a couple of years in motels and stuff, just trying it out. And, and, and we ended up loving it building two different buses this is our second bus and this we built into a home and so for us that was what worked for us if you would like to follow us you can follow us on youtube at the fitness bus it is the underscore fitness underscore bus um, as well as on instagram and um, we thank you guys for watching and coming and touring our home mm -hmm.